Oh, they dragged, as they quote, dragged us back to Alberta. Um, Florida Panthers just cannot get it done. And now we lead the series 3-2 after being up 3-0. Motherfucker. I'll try not to be as anxious and pissed off, but I can't guarantee it. First and foremost, right? I gotta give credit to the Oilers. I gotta, I gotta give credit to Edmonton. They're playing with desperation. They're playing uh, better hockey as of late. <laughs> they outscored the Panthers 13 points in the last two games. And the Panthers' special teams is putrid. It is putrid, putrid special teams. I really don't think Brandon Montour should be on a power play line ever again. Because not only he's given up one, or lets it happen one, but he lets it happen twice in the past two games. And that's how it starts off. A shorthanded goal. Two freaking games in a row. You cannot rely on our power play anymore, ladies and gentlemen. You just can't. The only power play goal we had was back in game two. And that was last week. And then, and then make the worst of all, Edmonton scores two power play goals. Two. It can't be this difficult to stay out of the goddamn box. They just could not stay out of the box. I don't care how good the penalty kill is. Well, now it's shit. <laughs> it's terrible now. You give it up two power play goals and you're giving up a shorthanded goal. So special teams, it's whack. It's it's terrible, bro. It is horrible. Three out of two goals are special teams goals. Shorthanded and two power plays. The other two was both by McDavid. Five on five on an impossible angle, which Showing greatness, you know. This is Connor McDavid. He's going to break the record. Maybe that's what the NHL is aiming for before the series ends. A potential 3-0 and comeback. And to have Connor McDavid. And, and I'm not saying he's terrible. He is fantastic. Or this fans, I know you're watching. I know you're watching this video. I'm not discrediting Connor McDavid. I think he is really Really good. One of the best. I think... <laughs> I think they're going to... Do everything in their power... To make sure he breaks those records. And we get fucked. And people say the referees are garbage. Anyway. Anyway, that's just... That's just a story for the other day. I'm not blaming the refs. Although, although I think some calls are absolutely questionable... Like the embellishment bullshit, which sucked. I don't think he embellished at all. How how is it possible that Kachuk had his, you know, foot hit, hooked, falls down, losing his footing? How is this possible? I don't get it. I really don't get it. Speaking of Matthew Kachuk, he has stepped up where he they needed him most, and that's great. That's great. Matthew Kachuk, we needed him back. Where was Reinhardt? Where was Verhage? Where was Barkov? More, more importantly, where was Ekman Larson and Nico Mikola when we needed them most on defense? Sure, Ekman Larson scored near the end or at the beginning of the third period when the time was right. But since then, Florida can't score shit. Because one, Stuart Skinner. He, he he's finally he they woke they woke up. <sighs> anyway, let's let's break this down. I've pretty much gave the gist of it, and we're just gonna move on. I really don't want to talk much about this game. Anyway, 
It starts off with Bobrovsky going up against Skinner. Florida goes on the power play with Brett Kulik's high sticking on Ryan Lomberg, who replaces, I believe he replaces Stenlin. Um, uh, so Lomberg comes in in the change. Kulak, high stick in two minutes. What does that happen? Give away by Brandon Montour, and they score it. It's Connor Brown with a backhand to make it one nothing Edmonton. And I am just absolutely pissed off at that moment. Like, I was so pissed. Because this is twice that they've given up. Connor Brown assisted. This time, Connor Brown does it all by himself. And Connor Brown doesn't score this many goals. He playing good playoffs, not regular season. He's this is only a second goal. Barcock gets called for a cross check on Bouchard. Edmonton goes on the power play, but a minute later, Ryan Nugent Hopkins goes on a on a box for a hook game. Becomes a four on four for a bit. Edmonton try to push for two nothing. Florida goes on their power play again, which I don't trust their power play anymore because something like this happens. As long as as long as Brent Martor is on the ice for that particular scenario. Anyway, penalties are killed off. Mikola though, near the end of the game. The game, excuse me. Um, Mikula with the interference on Forgel. That goes over the second period. Second period starts. Pretty good penalty kill. Last 10 seconds. Nugent Hopkins with the wrist shot. Save. And then they eventually score with two seconds left for the power play. McDavid scores his 33rd assist. Bouchard gets his 24th assist, and it's deflected, and it's deflected by Zach Hyman. Can't forget about Zach Hyman. 2 nothing again, but 10. And a few minutes later, it's McDavid with the impossible angle. Evan Bouchard missed 25th assist. Four goal is fourth assist. Seventh goal of the season, postseason is Connor McDavid with his wrist shot on the left side to get just past Bobrovsky to make it 3 nothing again, but 10. And I'm just like... I had a lot of, I, and I still have some minds racing. Matthew Kachuk woke up. He, um, it wasn't Matthew Kachuk, was it? Yeah, it was. It was Matthew Kachuk. I, actually, I think it was Rodriguez who took the puck away and they give it to Matthew Kachuk. And Matthew Kachuk with that snapshot just goes right by Stuart Skinner and they score. It's 3-1. It's 3-1. Uh, Edmonton, Rodriguez gets his seventh assist. Matthew Kachuk finally gets a goal in the Stanley Cup final. That's a sixth goal of the postseason. Then, Apostle gets called for a hook, and Edmonton scores yet another power play. And I'll be and in, in all fairness, as pissed off as I was, you that that you gotta give credit to McDavid. That was just some filthy pass, filthy play to give it to Corey Perry. Evan Bouchard gets his 26 assists. That's his third assist. Fourth or fifth, I think. Or not fifth, excuse me. Th third or fourth, I think it's his third. 26 assists of the, of the postseason. And McDavid's yet another assist. He keeps climbing up. I think that's his, I think that's his, what is it, 41 points at this point? Let's see, seven goals at this point, 34 assists. Seven plus 34 equals 41. Yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there, Edmonton. You're about, your man's about to break the records. Corey Perry gets first goal of the postseason. Corey Perry! But good news. 14 seconds later, Rodriguez scores. It's better than it's better than being down 4-1. You're, you're now you're only down by two again. But although it could have been better if it was 3-2. You see what I'm trying to say? I swore to myself I wouldn't get pissed off at this, but here we are. Uh Sam Bennett gets a seventh assist. Montour gets his eighth assist. Rodriguez gets a seventh goal with a wrist shot. Rodriguez gets called for a slash on McDavid. Um, Zach Hyman's interference. Make it a four on four. <laughs> Penalties are killed off. The Panthers have woken up to try to get this goal. Tarasenko's trying. And there was a use and you know, there was a useless stat, couple of useless stats I can point out. I'll point that out at the end of the game. Uh this recap. Tarasenko's trying to get it with a bunch of rebounds, but that was just going nowhere. And we go to the third period being down by two. 
Third period, Panthers are a third period team after all, right? Well, four minutes into the third period, we do get a goal. It is a bank shot by Ekman Larson, assisted by Matthew Kachuk. That's his 16th assist to be down by one before three. And we have time to tie this thing up, and they just were not able to do it. Dylan Holloway with the hooking call to Matthew Kachuk. Now, I expect it to be just a power play, but they also called Matthew Kachuk for... In oh, let me just turn this off. They also called embellishment for Matthew Kachuk, and that was bullshit. An absolute bullshit. Garbage, garbage embellishment call on Matthew Kachuk. Again, how is it possible that Holloway stick hits his foot, his skate, that would cause him to lose balance as the stick was holding on to Matthew Kachuk, which would allow, which not allow, which would make him lose his footing on the ice. It's embellishment? Are you joking, NHL? Are you joking? And I don't want to hear it saying, oh, the, refer uh, the referees are rigged. They're rigged. Um, they're, they're in favor of the Florida Panthers. You know what? I don't want to hear that nonsense anymore. I don't want to hear it anymore. You know why? I truthfully think they want this series to extend so that McDavid can get his uh, record. It's not rigged. If, it, if I said it was rigged, then, then we, then we would have a discussion. But I'm not saying because the referee made these raw decisions. Although I think they did. We would have won the series on Saturday or last night. And when you know this useless stat, this referee crew—I forgot their names. 14-0-1 with the Panthers. Oh, that's gotta be a series culture, right? Wrong. It's 14-1-1 with the same referee officiating crew. And now we got to deal with Chris Rooney's crew. Anyway, four of four power plays killed off, and then, and then in the process of trying to get, trying to find somewhere to um to make a play, Edmonton, and this is where I get frustrated. I don't, and this is where I want to say, I don't want to hear saying NHL's Rick from Florida Panthers because clearly. Edmonton had too many men on ice on the side. Sure, they were on the side by the bench, but there was too many men on it trying to go for the puck anyway. It may not look like it, but I saw one or two people trying to go for the puck as there were six of them. And they totally missed it or just like flat out ignored it. Kachuk pissed off at the officials how, how they just completely let it go. They let it go. And you want to know what's even worse? <laughs> you know how they said they called embellishment on Kachuk? Well, a sl a they called tripping on Kulikov. And it was one of the weakest trips I've ever seen. Maybe that's embellishment, but they don't have the balls to call it. I said I wouldn't get pissed off, but here we are. Anyway, Edmonton goes on a power play. That penalty is killed off. Florida cannot find... By the score. And we go to empty net scenario. Oh, so close. Uh, by the end of the game, there was a shot on the empty net. Hit the post. Is yeah, Mark. It's, I know, now I know it's yeah, Mark, not Jan Mark. I know. A backhand hit the post. I, was, I thought that was it, but it hit the post. We have one more slight chance. And then before, and then, you know, before anything, before anything, with that, to make a 5-3, that puck was going to the back of the net. It was going to the back of the net. But Matthew Kachuk, what a save by Matthew Kachuk. You know what Ekman Larson was doing? That's so bullshit. There's no effort from this guy. It really isn't. And Montour, once again, nowhere to be found. But Matthew Kachuk woke up, made this save. Ekman Larson skating around like a little kid in ice. And McDavid was right there to just bury it. You want to know who was really pissed off that this series go to make it 3-2? You want to know who was really pissed off at this? 
Although I think Paul Maurice should be angry, adamant at his team right now. No more goofing around. No more joking around. He should rip the team apart. But no, you want to know who was really, really pissed off? I don't think ESPN showed it. But I think, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Sportsnet? They were showing it. Our manager, Bill Zito, visibly pissed off. He had a water bottle. Or, or I, don't, I don't he didn't have a water bottle. There was a, there was water bottles on the desk. He picked one up and he just chucked it to the wall. He's pissed off. And you know what? I don't blame Bill Zito for getting pissed off because this shouldn't happen. This really shouldn't happen. We should have ended the seat. We should have ended it t uh, last night. We should have. And now you're at risk of potentially blowing a 3 0 lead in the Stanley Cup final. Something that hasn't done in 82 years. You know, there was, there was some stats. There are a lot of useless stats saying, oh, uh, Tarasenko um, with the, what do you call it, Cardinals. Winning the same same day as the Blues winning the state of the Cafana. Tarasek was part of that team. With the Marlins winning, maybe there's a shot at that. I'm not, that's such a useless stat. And then there's also this useless stat. How NBA and the NHL are as identical as it could possibly be. For the Jason Tatum and Matthew Kachuk parallel universe. Didn't work, did it? And now we're at risk of blowing a 3-0 lead. And I'm getting Vietnam flashbacks with the Miami Heat last season. Talk about humiliation. Talk about humiliation. I can't believe we're at that point where we need to find, dig, soul search to just get one more. Just to get one more. Win. All it takes is one more. Can't get it done. Problem is, Panthers have lost four in a row. What is it, once or twice this season? As far as I remember. And I swear, 30 years of existence with all the pain and suffering. This might be the icing in the cake. We, don't, we can't fool around anymore. Otherwise, we'll be finished. As for the Oilers, I give credit where credit is due. They're playing good hockey at this point. But the flood of Panthers, Jesus Christ, you've got to play better. we got to win one more. All it takes is one more. You can't get it done. We still lead Series 3, too. We have two more chances. But that chance is, is shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. And then they dragged us back to Edmonton, Alberta. Now we got to wait two more days for Game 6. I don't know how much more it could take, honestly. It's, it's, I have so much thoughts racing through my head. I just do. And anyway, we'll look, let's look at the team stats before we wrap this up. 32 shots on goal for Florida with ends. Uh, Stuart Skinner saving, what is it, 29 out of 32. Edmonton with 24 shots on goal. Bobrovsky only saved about, what is it, 20. I think it's I think it's 19, 19 or 20. Uh Florida with more hits, way more hits. 44 to 16. Still not enough. Face-off wins, still not enough. Power plays, yeah. Five power play opportunities for Edmonton. They got two. Three power opportunities for Florida. They got none. And we give it up a shorthanded goal by Connor Brown of all people. Uh, block shots, 24 block shots for Edmonton, block shots for Florida is 12, 6 takeaways for Florida, 5 for Edmonton, 16 giveaways for Florida, 18 for Edmonton, and then here's your stars of the game. McDavid, no surprise there, with 1 star, with 2 goals, 2 assists, 2 stars, they give this one to Evan Rodriguez from Florida, with 1 goal and 1 assist, and 3 stars go to Evan Bouchard, with 3 assists. Unbelievable, unbelievable, man. I don't know where the I don't. Know, I personally don't know where this is going. 
I, I just hope that it doesn't, I hope it doesn't go down to, um, I don't know, man. So, I guess we'll see what happens. But please, Panthers, for the love of God, please finish it on Friday. Please. So that's going to do it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. If you have enjoyed this video and not the game, hit the like button, subscribe, or contact anyway, because my TVD is back. When he does, hit me right there with the fear. It's anything you deserve. This is my TVD sign off, folks. Good night, everybody.